You know, I, I, I tend to focus on the show on the big, meaty stories out there, but sometimes I like to scrape together the little greasy bits and mush them together with cornmeal to make news scrapple. <laughs> In my segment... People love the meanwhile. They love it. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> Norway and Canada are fighting over who has the world's tallest moose statue. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have been feuding ever since Norway crushed Canada in Olympic curling. It was brutal. Tens of people were bored. <laughs> For 35 years, the world's tallest moose statue has been in the world's most Canadian named city, Moose Jaw. Okay. Moose Jaw, of course, just north of the town, beaver scrotum. <laughs> now, Canada's moose is 32 feet tall, but Norway built one that's 33 feet tall, which is serious business to Moose Jaw Mayor Fraser told me. He said the moose statue was not only the pride of Moose Jaw, but of all of Canada. <laughs> no, it wasn't, said all of Canada. So this is what exactly are we dealing with here. Here's Canada's moose. Here's Norway's moose. What? Norway's got the T-1000 Terminator moose. <laughs> Canada has a paper mache dog from an abandoned theme park. <laughs> now, one plan to make Canada's moose taller includes giving him a bigger rack. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. But make sure the sculptor knows you mean antlers. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, on, moving on, Pope Francis just launched a new app called Click to Pray. It's the opposite of Twitter, which is proof there is no God. <laughs> and you know it's an official Vatican product because the app's icon is the Pope hiding in a barrel. <laughs> Here's how the app works. You go to the Pray Every Day page and you find a prayer. You say the prayer they have written for you and hit the Click to Pray button. Pretty impersonal. It's like getting your wife a birthday card and just signing your name. <laughs> By the way, ladies, if your husband gets you a birthday card and just signs his name, one day he's going to seal you in a wall. <laughs> wow. Whoa, I now. Want you... I'm telling Whoa. the story right now. I'm telling the story right now. Whoa, now. That is the reaction I thought that would get. <laughs> But I was assured by no less than half a dozen very talented women on this show that they loved that joke. Yes. And so I did it. <laughs> and I don't regret it for a minute. But I'm very gratified that that was horrifying to you. <laughs> the Vatican says the praying app was created to help the church reach out to young people. Really want to phrase it that way, guys? Because that's what's gotten you in a bunch of trouble. Meanwhile, oh, that's more horrifying to you. <laughs> that's even more horrifying to you. Okay, I don't know what the f I'm doing anymore. <laughs> meanwhile, 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 John, brace yourselves because there are some important potato developments. According to scientists, right now, all over the world, potatoes have a form of depression. <laughs> you can tell they're depressed because they're always getting baked. <laughs> This potato depression is caused by generations of inbreeding. Inbreeding, of course, can result in stunted growth, shorter lifespans, and Eric. <laughs> we'll be right back with Drew Barrymore.